Today we're going to talk about Lean and Agile Enterprise Portfolio Management Frameworks, uh, specifically the Scaled Agile Framework 4.5 to manage large U.S. government agencies, portfolios, and acquisitions. Uh, uh, feel free to visit my website, connect with me on LinkedIn, and, and grab some of my latest videos, presentations, and, and white papers on how to apply this to large U.S. government systems. I have over 35 years of experience in the IT field. My background is in computer science and information systems on large U.S. government projects. I'm a career systems and software engineering methodologist. My first project was NASA's space station, and I published the first books on the ROI of CMMI and Agile methods. So let's start with a quote by Sun Tzu. Uh, 2,500 years uh, ago on the difference between strategy and, and tactics. He said, strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory, but tactics without strategy is the noise before the defeat. So he recognized as U.S. businesses do that strat you know, strategy or strategic growth is extremely important, but as we finally discovered in the 21st century, you know, so is the, the operational strategy of the organization. That leads us to PMI's definition of portfolio management, which is the art and science of managing the sub-portfolios, programs, projects, and operations to achieve strategic objectives like efficiency, effectiveness, and business value. So it uniquely recognizes the ability to uh, create a, a portfolio of operations, programs, and projects to satisfy uh, an organization's vision, mission, strategy, and objectives. Conversely, Lean and Agile frameworks are portfolio management methodologies based on principles of lean thinking, product development flow, even Agile values like, ag like collaboration, teamwork, iterative development, responding to change, but uh, being able to scale these up to enterprises and portfolios in a rigorous and disciplined way with, with lightweight planning and, and architecture and a sharp focus on product quality in order to achieve tangible and intangible you know, business objectives and value. A variety of lean and agile portfolio management frameworks has emerged over the last decade, such as Enterprise Scrum, SAFE, large-scale scrum, disciplined agile delivery, recipes for agile governance, and even the newer model scale professional scrum. However, as we'll discuss in the following slides, the scaled agile framework has emerged as the market leader. Here is a, a quick comparison of the major Agile frameworks. However, SAFE uh, is really uh, distinguishes itself from its uh, competitors in that uh, it's, it's very, very well defined. It has an extensive web uh, portal with uh, process assets and metrics, uh, uh, a ton of training and certification. There are over 200,000 certified SAFE professionals, but it's the preferred method of Fortune 500 firms, U.S. government agencies, and, and international high technology firms as well. There are dozens if not hundreds of lean and agile you know practices and models but as George E.P. Box said all models are wrong but some are useful and we believe that uh, the scaled agile framework is a very useful lean and agile portfolio management uh, approach. So let's begin our examination of the Scaled Agile Framework. It's a multi-tiered reference model for portfolios, large solution programs, individual programs, and even individual project teams. It's proven for scaling lean and agile thinking and principles to enterprises and portfolios to, to synchronize and align the, the portfolios, the programs, and the project teams to the business objectives with a focus on quality, you know, and even transparency. 
SAFE's primary purpose is to scale lean and agile thinking, principles, values, and practices up to uh, large portfolios and enterprises. However, even basic lean and agile practices like Scrum and, and Kanban were, were scalable to the program level. However, SAFE has even more elasticity uh, to larger solutions and programs as well as the portfolio itself. Here's another way of saying the same thing. Uh, practices like Scrum or Kanban or Extreme Programming were, were, were really primarily designed for teams or small projects, but the Goldilocks zone uh, of the Scaled Agile framework is really large programs and even certain elements of, of the portfolio where the PMI's portfolio uh, management standard, you know, is really, really heavy on, on the portfolio administration, but, but silent on some of the lower layers. A technical method of examining SAFE's Goldilocks zone is, is to look at the triple constraint. Uh, in waterfall methods, you know, the scope is fixed and, and the cost and the time are variable. In the agile paradigm, uh, the time and the cost are fixed and the scope is variable. Uh, but in the lean paradigm, there's a, there's a sharp focus on, on batch size, right, where capacity and time are variable. It's also important to examine some emerging SAFE anti-patterns. First of all, SAFE is not a, a reference model for U.S. government agencies alone. It's definitely not a hierarchy or a bureaucracy, and it's definitely not a waterfall where first you do portfolio management, program planning, execution of the programs, and then the, the, the individual projects and teams themselves. Here's a helpful view of, of SAFE. Instead of viewing it as individual layers or a hierarchy, we can, we can view the layers as, as overlapping functions of portfolio management, large solution planning, you know, program execution, and, and, and team execution as well. But a, a single Epic MV team or even Agile release team works together as a cross-functional team to execute these functions as quickly as possible. Here's an even more helpful view of SAFE. Rather than viewing it as a multi-layer model, as we alluded to on the prior slide, view SAFE teams as a single Agile release train team or cross-functional team. So it's one team versus a hierarchy, alignment of the whole team to the business objectives with tons of bottom-up decision-making. And, and this is the preferred method of, of U.S. government acquisitions, and you can see some of those right here. Unlike individual models like the PMI's portfolio management model, program management model, project management model, even individual models like uh, Scrum or Kanban, SAFE is a single integrated mo uh, model for cross-functional teams to guide EMPICs and MVPs through a, a single integrated process of portfolio, large solution planning, program planning, and even team execution in a matter of days and weeks versus years and decades. The purpose of SAFE's portfolio function is for portfolio management teams to align the objectives of the portfolios to the business objectives you know, budget that, prioritize them, create value streams, and then create major functional and non-functional initiatives that are aligned to those strategic objectives uh, with, with lots of visibility and lightweight governance and, and architecture. An optional layer in SAFE is the large solution level, which is designed for solution management teams to create uh, larger programs of programs called solution trains that are aligned to the strategic themes uh, with individual capabilities. So you have a, a solution backlog with prioritized capabilities. Uh, you might even have uh, some model-based systems engineering, some, some architecture going on there, some localized governance for that program. 
The heart of the SAFE is its program management level where release trained engineers facilitate PI or big room planning sessions to bring individual development teams into the planning process to collaboratively form visions, strategies, roadmaps, features, user stories, PI objectives, and the release trains uh, to rapidly create business value in days and weeks versus years and decades and, and that are aligned to the business objectives to rapidly deliver value in a transparent fashion using tools like continuous delivery and DevOps. SAFE's team level empowers individual project teams to select their own lean or agile practices like Scrum or Kanban with some loose governance like synchronized iterations and, and program increments or releases, some governance, architecture, tool ecosystems like DevOps to sharply focus on quality to, to minimize technical debt and increase speed so they can deliver business value to the enterprise in two-week intervals or, or 90-day quarters. Here's a simple safe racy matrix with roles and artifacts, but one must remember that this is a single cross-functional team, and although individual people may have primary responsible for safe artifacts, everyone contributes to creating them because the knowledge, the domain knowledge for creating these high-quality artifacts rests in the entire team. At the heart of SAFE are simple metrics like lead and cycle time where a single cross-functional team executing portfolio, program, project, and team processes uses tools like CI, CD, DevOps, and, and even Scrum and Kanban uh, to lower WIP, reduce cycle times, and reduce lead times uh, once again to days and weeks versus years and decades. Lean and Agile values and principles focus on visualization versus detailed mathematics and statistics. So we see some of those visualizations here like portfolio and, and program and, and project Kanban boards, epic pro or feature progress charts uh, to show story point to burn downs, and even you know simple portfolio radar charts to tell you the health of your portfolios and the health of your programs. Each of SAFE's levels actually supports a variety of analytics, measurements, models, and metrics, uh, 30 major ones to be exact, with, with many more detailed individual measurements. But I, I think uh, the point here is, is not to get carried away with, with detailed mathematics and, and lean heavily uh, upon some of the visualizations we showed in the prior slides. Here's a simple case study of how SAFE has been utilized for a large U.S. government healthcare agency for, for a large family of data warehouses, six to be exact. So they, they were able to use the portfolio management functions, the large solution functions, and then set up a, a large solution with six major you know, release trains. A key hidden and often forgotten element of SAFE is the leadership spanning palette and the governance spanning palette. Uh, a critical element of SAFE is synchronizing individual teams, projects, programs, solutions in the entire portfolio. So these governance teams uh, are, are key to that the cadence and synchronization and they need uh, roadmap runways for architecture and security and business functions and infrastructure and data model in order to secure that synchronization. The basic purpose of SAFE is to uh, align and motivate all of the teams within a large portfolio to use lean and agile practices to deliver business value in days and weeks versus years and decades. Thus, leadership becomes critical at all levels from the government agency to its contracting functions to its portfolio management functions, program, project, and individual teams. It's not enough to have localized leadership. You really need globalized leadership with SAFE. 
In order to achieve business value with safe in days and weeks versus years and decades, lean and agile thinking and practices must be used at all levels, including the team, the program, the large solution, and portfolio level. You know, safe is not a means uh, of aligning lean and agile practices with waterfall or traditional practices. You can't embed scrum teams within a, a waterfall portfolio, and you can't embed waterfall falls within a lean and agile portfolio. Basic agile teams are about 10 to 20 times faster than traditional waterfall teams. And we see similar results with large safe portfolios of a thousand people or more. We see 10 times increases in, in productivity and product quality with large reductions in cycle time and lead time. But more importantly, safe teams can do in three to 10 business uh, days what a large traditional team would, would take about about three to 12 years. Uh, a key element to achieving SAFE's benefits is this implementation roadmap that consists of training leaders and executives, establishing programs, uh, coaching them, you know, executing your, your iterations and your increments, but a, a key is globalized leadership. I, I've seen too many SAFE initiatives fail because the leaders neither want to get training nor do they want to uh, support SAFE. SAFE begins with lean and agile thinking, values, and principles. Uh, SAFE is not a means of, of implementing overscoped systems. Uh, you must have a lean and agile portfolio. Uh, it's got to be sharply focused on business value. You have to simplify your systems, architectures, and tightly scoped M MVPs. You, you need to use DevOps and microservices, and you, you really need a sharp focus on enterprise uh, automation. You simply cannot manage safe successfully if you don't measure it. So you must measure your leadership readiness, your use of its portfolio management functions, its portfolio value delivery, its, its PI planning, PI execution, PI delivery, PI results, and, and even PI readiness in order to achieve it, its business value. We now live in the age of portfolio management, be it traditional, lean, or agile, and this is the age of SAFE. Uh, agile methods reached their golden age in 2002. Now portfolio management methods are in their golden age. There are over 200,000 certified SAFE professionals and nearly 50% of all lean and agile portfolios prefer the use of SAFE over its nearest competitors. Over 95% of global IT teams now use Scrum or Kanban at the team level. However, portfolio management is still the realm of traditional thinking. Therefore, traditional portfolio managers want to use SAFE to bootstrap Scrum and Kanban onto traditional waterfall enterprise life cycles. However, SAFE is simply not a method of putting lipstick on a pig. It's a means of implementing implementing lean and agile thinking at all levels of the portfolio. At its core, lean and agile thinking is a system of values and principles like the Agile Manifesto, conversations, teamwork, working software, continuous improvement. However, people want to turn SAFE into a complex system of processes, tools, and metrics. However, if you want to be successful with SAFE, you must focus on soft concepts like conversations, visualization, emotional intelligence, servant leadership, empowerment, simplicity, flexibility, and continuous improvement. In summary, SAFE is the clear international leader for lean and agile portfolio management. It is extremely well defined. Uh, over 200,000 people have been trained globally. It's scalable to portfolios of thousands of developers. It's the preferred method of global 500 IT firms and U.S. government agencies. And you can deliver business value in days and weeks versus years and decades. Let's close with a quote by Harvard economist Michael Porter. 
The essence of strategy is choosing what not to do, which is a key a principle of lean and agile portfolio management. In addition to the SAFE website, uh, numerous resources are, are emerging as SAFE becomes the dominant market leader for lean and agile portfolio management with books like Scaling Software Agility, Agile Software Requirements, the SAFE Reference Guide, and numerous others with, with more on the way in the summer of 2018. Please remember to visit my website, davidfrico.com, to learn more about me, get my Lean and Agile briefs like this one, uh, watch some of my videos like my DevOps video, as well as uh, get my white paper on how to apply Lean and Agile concepts to large U.S. government systems. Thank you for your time.